Hey everybody, hopefully y'all hopefully can hear me right now because it's a bit windy out here. Uh, I can feel the wind hitting my hand, so hopefully y'all can hear me, but um, I'm trying to I'm trying to think of what the fuck I'm going to do today. I mean, I want to play a video game. I might do a live stream later today, I'm not sure. Um, I might do a little bit of live stream on Tom Clancy's uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. I also have Breakpoint as well on PC. I have it on that uh, Ubisoft Uplay subscription thing. Which is actually a pretty good deal because they have a lot of good games on there. Um, they actually have a lot of really good and good popular games too. Not just the, their cheaper, lower, you know, lower budget games, but they're real high quality games too. Um, I don't really know why so many people hate Ubisoft. I like Ubisoft. I've never really had an issue with Ubisoft. Uh, uh, same thing with with uh, EA, you know, Origin Access. I've never really had any issues with it, so I really don't know what people's problem is, why they want to complain. But anyway, <laughs> um, I am thinking about making a a video, uh, a, either a gameplay or I might do a live stream. But stupid airplane. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That's why I hate living here in Irving. Is because there's planes that planes fly by all the time. There's, there's usually planes that fly by at least every five minutes. It's very annoying. Very, it's very, very hard to make videos with that shit going on. Anyway. Um, I'm bored, though. I'm out here, you know. Out here. Around the tunnels. <sighs> and I don't really know what the fuck to do. I mean, it's hot out here, guys. I mean, I am sweating in places that you do not want to sweat at all I mean I could literally I could literally feel the sweat dripping off my ball sack right now guys that's how fucking hot it is right here and I could feel like little droplets of sweat dripping off my armpits as well it's pretty gross so for any of you ladies that are watching out there you know I keep myself clean so <laughs> don't worry about that if I ever go on a date with any of my viewers if I ever went on a date with any of my fans or whatever if I had a girl comment or whatever and said she wanted to go on a date which I'm open for that you know I'm open to date pretty much anyone if they're a nice person if they're not an asshole or whatever but you know just letting y'all know right now that I you know I'm gonna smell good on the date I'm not gonna smell like shit or anything so I'm just letting y'all know right now um, but I do stink right now because I'm outside and I've been out in the sun for about an hour now and it is hot guys I mean it it, it claims that it's 89 degrees, but it feels hotter than that. It feels a lot hotter than that. And this is the real feel. The real feel is it's literally saying 89, and I don't believe that shit. It feels more like feels more like 99 right now, somewhere between 99 to 100. And even the breeze that's hitting me is hot. Like it's not a, a refreshing breeze, like it is at nighttime. You know, when the sun's down and you feel that breeze hit you and it feels cool. It's nothing like that, guys. This is not fresh at all. It's extremely hot. It's dry today, very dry. I mean, there's literally no humidity anywhere because I could see like really far away and there's like no fog because usually out in the distance you see a bit of fog because of the humidity. But there's like literally like, it feels like no humidity today. It's very, very dry and I hate dry weather. I prefer humid weather because at least with humid weather, it, it cools you down more, you know, because it makes you sweat a little bit more and right now my arms aren't sweating my arms my arms don't sweat i don't know what it is my arms never sweat uh my armpits sweat my back sweats and my chest sweats my ball sack sweats my ass sweats my legs doesn't really sweat um pretty much my, my limbs my arms and my legs they never sweat my feet sweat and my hands will sweat if i'm holding something or if i have gloves on but other than that pretty much the only parts of my body that sweat is my torso um and my pelvic area but it sucks guys because I wish I could sweat more because it would help cool me down because that's actually what sweat is for is when you're when you're wet the wind hits you and it helps cool you down um, and I know for a fact because me and Elmer and Natalie have actually swam before in like 100 degree weather and when we got out of the swimming pool it was so cold because that breeze hits you when you're wet and it feels so fucking cold but it feels good though it actually cools you down. It keeps you from feeling so hot. And that's pretty much the only activity we do during the summertime is swim. 
at nighttime we still do hunting tours, but we don't do hunting tours or, or any really randomizer episodes um, during the summertime at, at during the day unless we're doing it indoors. Um, and we can't really do a hunting tour outside during the daylight during the summer for two reasons is because for one thing we want it to be dark because it sets the mood it makes the videos seem more scary and also because most of the places we go to are not inside so we're going to be outside in the hot sun anyway we have gone and done some hunting tour episodes during the daytime but we kind of stopped because we were getting sunburned really bad and we were afraid we were going to get cancer uh and you're at a higher risk if you're out in the sun all day you're at a higher risk of getting skin cancer um, so yeah that's one reason why we really don't do that shit we don't like doing that kind of stuff during the summer during the hottest part of the day we might do some like around like sunset you know around after the sun has already gone down um, right now the sun has been setting somewhere around 7 and that's usually where I like to make my videos is around that time because it's not so hot the only bad thing is it's not as much light out and so my camera you know my camera I have to set the uh you know the exposure higher the iso which makes the the quality look bad so but at least with this camera the image grain is not color grain i haven't had any issues with this camera creating color grain it just creates the white grain which white grain is acceptable for most movies most hollywood movies and stuff the white grain is acceptable but you don't want color grain color grain is really shitty and it looks super unprofessional um, if you look at The Walking Dead, if you look really close to the footage, you could tell there's a lot of, of white image grain on The Walking Dead. Um, the creators of the show, Nick Nicotero, or Greg Nicotero and that other dude, Nick, I forget his name, um, the two producers of the show, both of them add, they actually have their editors add image grain to the camera, to the, to the footage after it's been edited because they want it to feel more authentic. They want it to feel more like the apocalypse. And that old timey look, you know, like the old timing cameras that had image grain and, and the film, you know, the film uh, look and everything, um, like the fogginess, um, that they want it to feel more authentic. And so they're trying to make it feel like an old fashioned zombie TV show. But, and I like that. I've actually made some of my videos like that. I've made a couple of my videos where the, uh, oh, excuse me, guys. I've actually made a couple of videos like that where the, the fucking, um, uh, like image green appeared um see i'm trying to think uh i'm trying to think because i know i made a video like that one time i can't remember if i uploaded it up on youtube or not but i know i have made videos like that where i made it look super old timing made it look like it was filmed on like an old 19 you know 70s or 1980s uh video camera but i like doing that i like making videos look old um me and elmer are real big into old classic movies uh, not so much into foreign movies uh, because I don't like subtitles and I know how people are constantly giving people a hard time over dubbed you know a lot of people hate people that watch dub movies and everything which I think is kind of stupid because it's not a matter it's not the fact that I can't keep up with the subtitles I can read them fine I, I, I'm, I'm fast I can read fast it has nothing to do with that to me it has more to do with having to because why would you want to read something on a screen if you could just read a book why like that, it's kind of pointless to me like if you're going to read something anyway, then read the fucking book. Don't watch the movie. Because to me, it's kind of pointless to read t subtitles on a screen because I'm not going to get to enjoy the movie because I'm not getting to, like, especially with anime. Anybody that watches anime, I'm telling you right now, if you watch the subtitles, you're not going to enjoy it. You're not going to enjoy it 100%. What I would highly recommend is if you do insist on watching the subtitles, I would recommend watching the dubbed version first. So that way you get the story and then you can go back and watch the subbed or you could watch it without subtitles and just watch it in Japanese, and so it feels more authentic. And so you already know what the story is, you already know what's gonna happen, but you can enjoy the action and stuff without having to worry so much about, you know, or you can go online and read the uh, the, the transcript. They usually have transcripts online that you could read that they'll show you, you know, the words, you know, the script from the, the show or whatever, and you could just read that, read the story, and then you could watch the Japanese version. Because I know a lot of people say, well, they hate you know, um, English, you know, the English dub because they hate the voices that they use and everything. I personally would much rather listen to the annoying ass American dub version than to have to read subtitles and miss a lot of the action. Because in most animes, if you're watching like a superhero anime or something like that, and a lot of times the characters, while they're fighting, they're talking. 
And so you're having to read subtitles and trying to watch the action at the same time, which is very hard to do. It's hard to keep up. The human brain can't multitask no matter what no matter what anybody tells you the human brain cannot multitask it's already been scientifically proven that the human brain cannot actually multitask so it's kind of hard for you to do both at the same time enjoy the action and read the subtitles at the same time so i really don't care what anybody says to me it's it's a waste of time you know it's it's a huge waste of time to to read the subtitles when i could just read the book or read the, the manga you know i can get the book the, the book version of the anime um which they call it manga some people call it manga, some people call it manga, some people it's pronounced several different ways. I've heard people pronounce it all kinds of different ways. I pronounce it manga, but <clears throat> and I have read manga. I used to read manga all the time. But and personally, I would much rather learn Japanese than to have to read subtitles. That's how dedicated I would be. But the thing is, is I've tried learning Japanese and it's very complicated. I've heard a lot of people say that English is supposed to be the most complicated language to learn, but not to me. <laughs> Japanese is much more complicated than English. Mandarin is probably even more complicated, to be honest. But uh, I'm probably going to end this. I'm probably going to make another video here in a little bit. I'm probably going to start heading back because I'm getting thirsty. I need some water anyway. But uh, yeah, guys, um, I might make a live stream later might play some video games online or something um, of course that'll be on a different youtube channel i'll put the link in the description for my uh, for my other youtube channels i have like a couple other youtube channels that i make videos on um one of them i stopped using because i just didn't really like it so much i just kind of stopped using it but i do have a bunch of youtube channels but most of them i don't even make videos on there's only like three of them i think that i actually make videos which would be the haunting tour the randomizers and my new uh, YouTube channel, which I think it's called Razor. It's Razor. I think it's called Razor Fang Gaming. Yeah, Razor Fang Gaming. But anyway, peace out, guys. Uh, love y'all and keep it real.